Hey, John Kool Aid Porter. Hello, Randy. Randy Pan. <clears throat> so, how you doing? I'm pretty good. You want to know why I'm pretty good? Why are you pretty good, Randy? Because uh, we're about to watch the West Region Playoffs Championship bout between the uh, number one seeded Rose City Rollers and the number two seeded Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. The number two seeded defending champions of the WFTDA of the Women's Flat Track Derby Association, Rocky Mountain Roller Girls. Those are the very ones I am talking about. And the reason I'm excited, not just because it's a championship bout, but every time these two teams play, it is some of the most fun derby you're ever going to watch. Absolute fireworks. The Globetrotters versus the Globetrotters. Rocky Mountain victorious last year, beating Olympia by one point one. in the championship game. One. one point. One. I don't know what to expect. Uh, Oli earlier in the season had a pretty commanding uh, win over Rocky Mountain, but Rocky Mountain uh, had some skaters that weren't there that are going to be here tonight. So with a full Rocky Mountain roster, I don't know what to expect. What I expect is it's going to be close. What I expect is going to be fierce. I expect the action will be incredible to watch, and I expect the skating will be very dynamic. One of the things that you might want to evaluate their respective strengths on, Rat City took Rocky Mountain to ten a 10-point game. Yes. Got to within, them to within 10 points. Not the game Rocky Mountain was at all expecting for it to be anywhere near that close. Well, I think that was psychological warfare. I think that was a very effective psychological warfare on Rat City's part. They were like, we're, we don't have to skate. We don't have to start the jam. And that's Rocky Mountain's comfort zone. And it got into their heads. They got a heavy penalty trouble, and Rat City were able to capitalize and push it. I think the difference tonight is Oli doesn't play a psychological game. They play a very physical game. I think that's Rocky Mountain's comfort zone. I think that's what they're more into. And, you know, if you if Rocky Mountain play about like that, again, they'll probably know how to react and how to counter and what to do. But they learned a huge lesson against Rat City that night. I don't think tonight's going to be the case. I think both teams are excited to skate. I think both teams are excited to compete. And we're going to see the action on that level. So let's take a brief moment to just recap what we have learned so far this weekend. We have learned that the 9 and the 10 seeds came in possibly mismatched, misseeded, if you will, as the 10 seed Angel City was able to take out the 9 seed Tucson. We learned that Sacred and Jet, possibly also misseeded as the 8 seed Sacred, took out 7 seed Jet City. No, uh, Sa Sacred City was 7 seed. They came in 7 seed. They remained 7 seed. Uh, so they held on to their spot. Thank you. You're welcome. Last year, Jet City took the seven seed over Sacred. This time, Sacred took it back, but a very close bout. They're two fun, even match teams to watch play. And then a really fun game we saw earlier was the Olympia-Denver game. Dude. Penalty box. Such a huge, huge portion of that game. So many power jams for each team. Denver able to come out with the victory, even though, as the game ended, their jammer was in the penalty box. It, you know, that was such a fun bout to I, I, I really like both teams a lot, and I just found myself enjoying the level of derby that was played between those two teams. It was a very, very exciting bout. And then lastly, very quickly, the game we just saw, Rose City defeating Rat, Randy Pan. Uh, it was incredible. Um, you know, uh, Rad City came in with a game plan to, to slow and stop the game. Rose City were like, no, we're going to play. We're going to play. We're going to play. I got to give a lot of credit to Rad City. I didn't know if they had anything else, but they came in so hard with that strategy, no one else knew what they were going to bring. So when Rose City started, Rad City played a solid, effective bout. They kept their blockers out there. Uh, Rose City had, got into some penalty trouble, you know, and so that started hurting him a bit. And Rat City had a good position to capitalize. Rose City brought it back together, and they're going to go to the championships for the first time in their WFDA sanction history. But uh, very good on Rat City for being able to execute and uh, play a powerful bout, proving that, like so many teams in the West, championship level of play. Very good. We've got Rocky Mountain now out for their intros. Scattering of applause from the crowd. That's going to be number double zero, Erkin Jerkin as Booty Blockia. Number 175L, Queen Elizabeth. Number 1972, Echo. Number 1990, Betty White Knuckles. Number 202, Frida Beater. 
Number 21, Psycho Babble. Number 27, Deranged. Number 31, Fiona Grapple. Number 37, Bob Blah Blah. Number 74, 23, Triple Shot Misto. Number 8, Winona Fighter. Number 86, Assault and Peppa. Number 9, Amanda Jamadinya. And number 9, -er, Uber Alice. All right, we got the introductions going on for the Oli Rollers, and we're going to see out there 03, Adam Matrix. Number 2, Sassy. Number 28, Blonde Ambition. Number 29, Ready to Rumble. Number 2, John Heifer. Number 2, X, Scara to Death. Number 30, Stella Italiana. Number 33, Lil Tonka. Number 4x4, four Wheeler. Number 5, 23, Liquor Split. Number 7, Hockey Honey. Number 8, D-Bomb. Number 9, Terrible Lecter. And number 911, Intended Anger. Uh, Kool-Aid, I am just trying to contain myself. I'm trying to come in this calm, cool, and collected because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose my mind as soon as this craziness begins. We are, again, live here from Portland. A very nice crowd here. Larger than what I have seen at some of the past regional playoffs. The crowd, judging by their response to the lineups, decidedly pro Oli here. Well, you know, Northwest Coast, you know, uh, we got a lot of love for our teams out here. Um, it was fun to see three out of the four teams going into the, the final four here from Northwest. And that's uh, something we can take a lot of pride in, a lot of excitement. Kool-Aid and you, that's you, I'm talking to you at home, you, you watching this HD feed, you, yes, you. Don't You don't have to point yourself, I'm talking to you. We've got number 03 in blue, Adam Matrix on the jammer line for the Oily Rollers. And number 27 deranged. If you're, aware, if you're looking at the HD feed, <laughs> you can see that she's got some Sunday comic strip leggings on. That's that's a new one. There, you know what? She uh, should be easy to spot if you got the HD feed. She modeled it after my wallet. If we can get a camera shot of my wallet, it's the same thing. I was inspired by her tights, actually. All right, and we are live, folks. The first whistle releases the pack. The second whistle is the jammers, and we're off. So it looks like Rocky Mountain taking a middle four wall, only going 2-2. Two -two, but the range around the outside, lead jammer. Yes, she is. Adam Matrix still in the pack, coming up front. Cycle Babble with an escort to the outside of cycling. Here's Derange coming in now for a scoring pass. Gets past D-Bomb. Barely not very much. D-Bomb pushes her out. That was a minor track cut. Uh, looks like Hockey Honey's back there with her. Uh, Adam Matrix still on her initial pass. Gets through there. And she's in scoring position, Kool-Aid. She is. Adam Matrix is out. Derange sees where she is. Calls it off. Got two points. And at least one minor, Randy Pan. All right. Of course, we want to thank Dr. Hauschka. They celebrate fresh faces of the WFTDA. Stop by their booth and get your fresh face. So I want you at home to fly out to Rose City right now and stop by their booth. All right. We've got number 30, Stella Italiana, on the jammer line for Olympia. And that's double I, irking, jerking up the line. And we got an empty penalty box so far. That's exciting. All right, Celetaniani already engaged in some uh, Rocky Mountain blockers. Uh, Irk and Jerkin forced the outside, Cooley. <laughs> Both jammers knocked out of bounds. Both recycle. Irkins up front now. Stella's oh. in the back. Irkins up. She is still caught inside. Nice inside uh, uh, force out by Sassy. But out for lead jammer, Irkin Jerkin, Rocky Mountain. So we had a lot of 2-2 play right now, but some walls are finally forming up from both teams. It looks like Stella Taniana is able to force herself for an initial pass. She gets out beyond Amanda Jaminia. Irkin is now up in the pack, scoring points past 1-2. Working on a two-wall up front for those last two points. Stella's a good three-fourths of a lap behind the pack. Oh, nice. That was uh, Friona Grapple with an offensive screen, able to open up to get all four points there for Irkin Jerkin. So no points yet on the board for Olympia after two jams. Looks like Liquor and Splits coming to the jammer line now for Olympia to try to turn that around. Elemental Technologies, the world's more powerful video processing solutions. All right, Derange comes back to the jammer line for the second time. For Rocky Mountain, her first jam in. She got lead jammer status, was able to get two points. Still no one in the penalty box. We are again Randy Pan five on five, the way God intended roller derby to be played. All right. <laughs> Looks like Adam Matrix got ahead of herself a little. Uh, gives ground there. 
for Derange to go through and skate. Right, so a false start yielded uh, yielded advantage to no major penalty. Still eligible for Lee Jammer status unless Derange gets it first, which she's out. Grab the outside of Blonde Bitchin, but she did get a uh, legal procedure. Sorry, a uh, legal forearm, minor forearm there, which gives out a matrix. Lead jammer. Gives liquor and split lead jammer. Sorry. No, that's no, that a matrix. matrix. Uh, nice slow down wall there. It looks like Rocky Mountain going for the trap, but Adam Matrix had the opportunity to call it up. So she did. I apologize, Randy Pan. I could have sworn I saw Liquor and Split line up there a moment ago. That was actually Adam Matrix of Adam Wheels, the official wheel of the WFTDA. How could you not see her? You were busy looking at the skates, and you know that Liquor and Split wears them too. That is absolutely correct. All right, we've got Tannibal Lecter coming to the jammer line now for the first time for Oli. She fouled out of the game yesterday, Randy Pan. She uh, spent some time there. Uh, seven trips for her. That is Irkin jerking up at the line. Double zeros in the red for Rocky Mountain. Uh, not a lot of uh, time in the penalty box right now. That's really good to see. We can keep all the action on the track. Two wall in front of uh, Liquor and Split and Sassy. Irkin jerking up front. Jukes around. She's out. She is the not lead jammer. What she pick Looks up like there? Blocking out of bounds, minor. Tannum Lecter gets around. Amanda jamming in here for the lead jam call. That is two jams in a row now, Randy Pan, where Rocky Mountain has had the jammer in the lead. The first jammer to break out of the pack. Two times in a row they've not gotten lead jammer. Two times Olympia has been able to get lead jammer status. Quickly called off, and we reset 6 nothing still. Another stat, there was also two jams in a row where skaters were wearing Rydell skates, proud partner and official skate of the WFTDA. We want to thank our stat crew for getting that is, us that information. All right, and coming back to the jammer line for Olympia is Adam Matrix. And, oh, is it? Oh, is it? Yes, it is. And free to beat her, 202 for the Fight Club. So uh, Rocky Mountain put their force in front. Looks like Goalie putting their force in back. Adam Matrix navigating the outside. Adam Matrix is up on the end, cuts out, cuts back in, trying to sprint ahead, gets a little whip there, coming around. She is through lead jammer. Adam Matrix for Olympia. That was full power, though. It looks like Free to Beat picked up a major cut on the outside during that straightaway. So power jam only. It looks like an opportunity to put uh, points on the board. And look at the pack as Amanda Jammin in is stuck in the back behind the four wall of Olympia. Now Adam Matrix up, knocked out of bounds. It's important to say with both of those hits that she engaged right in the shoulder. Neither one were back blocked. There was huge hits, but totally legal target zone. She gets through for five points. That is her first grand slam. The first grand slam of the game. Pack is not moving. We're stuck in turn one. Adam Matrix quickly around. Does it again. Past the man and jam and Inya. Oli Wollers with a four wall trap, and they're going to let Adam uh, force her way through. Looks like she got some offensive help from Reddick to Rumble for another five points. That's ten points this champ. That is correct. And again, quickly back to it. Past Amanda Jammin in you, past the four wall of Olympia into the Rock, Rocky Mountain blockers. It looks like a salt and pepper up there with blah, 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 but she opens it up. That's a 15 points so far this jam with 42 seconds left of the jam, Kool-Aid. Free to beat her standing in the penalty box, less than 10, 10 seconds left on the power play. Adam Matrix knocked inside, has to recycle back behind Amanda. That was jam Amanda Jammin in you with the hit. She's going to call off the jam. Uh, two, two more points. points, though. She got the uh, pass to Amanda Jammin in his hips, picked up the uh, penalty point, 17 point jam for Adam Matrix. Uh, you know, she keeps really healthy. I think that's the secret of uh, Adam Matrix. Uh, she gets her uh, sports medicine from the official sports medicine providers of Bridgestone Ball, OHSU. So Northwest, it takes care of her and it works well. Gives her 70 points. So let's reset here. No blockers in the penalty box. Just like that, free to beat her is out. So no power jam. Both jammers eligible for lead jammer status. Stella Italiano for Oli. We got an all defensive uh, position. Uh, oh, huge hit on Stella. It's going to be a hit to the head there. And we've got a skater down. That is Stella deranged with a huge hit to the head there, Randy Pan. It was huge. Well, she can get. Well, it was weird. They came in. And we can check this out again. But she came in. There was a hit low. It kind of forced her up and over. And then another skater came in and engaged the head. At least that's what I saw. So she's down. She's talking. They're talking to her right now. The, the refs very quickly and emphatically called that. 
yeah. penalty, Randy Pan. And now they are discussing, as we have seen many times, when you have a penalty of this significance, discussing if there's any further consequences that need to be taken care of right now. Well, it's you know definitely a major uh, with head injury, with uh, any kind of head play. That's going to be a major, and that's going to get called. You when you're coming in like that, it's so important to be careful. So that head uh, hit to the head's going to get called. I don't see. An official timeout going. We're going to get. Yes, there it is. It's official timeout. John Fowler John is signaling it right now. And Randy Pan, both of the sisters for Rocky Mount, Deranged and Psychobabble, both being called for that high block there. They are both in the penalty box for a major. All right, but it's just going to stay a major. It looks like there's no discussion of anything further. Correct, correct. But we do have a four on two uh, pack advantage for the Oli Rollers right now as Scarrett to Death is jamming for Oli. First time she's been on the jammer line tonight. Oh, and against Erkin Jerkin. Beautiful inside step there uh, to get a legal pass through, but she's up against that two wall of Echo and a Salt and Peppa forced to the inside. Huge hit by Salt and to knock her out. Meanwhile, Erkin with a major track cut. That happened right in front of us. I agree with it. Meanwhile, through for lead jammer is scared to death for Olympia on a power jam, Randy Pan. All right, 4 2 pack event. This is what I call an ultimate jam. Five versus two. This is where Oli excels. They play a calm, smooth game, but when they get the advantage, they capitalize like crazy. Scared does a nice move, cutting around Echo and Assault and Peppa, and she threw for a grand slam. Five Ass points. Assault and Peppa picked up a major out of play penalty in the last one, but with the full blocker uh, penalty box, she has to wait to go back out. The sisters are standing, so we're about to open up some space as she. Oh, nice move. Scared to death. Came through on one skate, stayed inbounds, gets five points, calls it off. Navigated. I like that call off Kool Aid, and here's why. I like that call off because there was two blockers in the penalty box, so you're still going to be able. Oh no! It looks like they're released before they called it off. Uh, I thought she was trying to start that with uh, a huge blocker advantage. They still got a 4-3 advantage here, Kool Aid. They do. I think she was going for that. They were standing. I think they'd been released, but we're just sort of right. assessing where. Remember, you have to enter from behind the pack, but you were able to skate clockwise or counterclockwise out of bounds to decide where from where you want to come in. Coming to the jammer line now is out of Matrix for Olympia. All right, just pushing away in front of course. Rocky Mountain taking that front three wall, but a huge inside assist from Hockey Honey gives an alley for Lee, uh, Lee Jammer to go to Adam Matrix. She was right through on that inside line, virtually untouched, as you said. Beautiful assist by Hockey Honey. Now look at the pack formation. Rocky Mountain's got their three blockers up front. The pack speed moving fairly quickly. Standing in the penalty box is the Rocky Mountain Jammer, Erkin Jerkin. <laughs> Sassy's got her eye on her. She's like, I see you coming. And yeah, there you are. She's out. Power Jam is over. Adam Matrix working with this huge three wall up front of Rocky Mountain. Hockey Honey going in for some offensive blocking to try to open a lane uh, for Adam Matrix, who's also just muscling her way through. So both jammers now right in the pack. Oh, squirting through is Erkin Jerkin. And that is the jam. Initial pass there, but Adam Matrix did get four more points when she called it off. Remember, you get points for putting hips in front of hips. You do not lose those points when the scammer that you, skater you just passed gets back in front of you. You got to look for those, and you got to look for rollergirlskates.com. When you're all done with this and you're like, I want to get skates so I can compete like these ladies, well, it's easy to remember, rollergirlskates.com. All right, 31 to 6, 31 for the skaters in blue from Olympia, 6 for the skaters in red from Rocky Mountain. Slight blocker advantage. It looks like four wall versus three wall in the back uh, for Der Olympia in blue. Deranged and Tannable jamming for their teams. Both jammers up quickly to the front and through for lead jammer. Tannable, lead jammer Olympia, but right behind a Randy Pan. Uh, it's, uh, Deranged, she makes her way around. She gets a lot of offensive help from Rocky Mountain, who are now at a full uh, roster on the track. Except Frida Beater picks up a uh, major elbow. She'll be going standing a minute in the penalty box. So Tannable is now in the pack, scoring points. Deranged about 15 feet, closing into the pack. Deranged calls it off after scoring three points, but one, one point scored there by Rocky Mountain. And, she and all right. So Oli Rollers have been able to been really push the lead right now with their penalty opportunities. They're staying on the track. Rocky Mountain going in a lot more. 34 to Rocky Mountain 7. And yet again, we see Animatrix on the jammer line for Olympia. She's had a fantastic game, has jammed four times, lead jammer three of those, going against Erkin Jerkin for Rocky Mountain. And so Oli are trying to get this going. 
Ulti, uh, Ulti with an intentional destruction of the pack. They took a knee. The pace was already set when the uh, Sassy and Wheeler went up front. So that was a destruction of the pack, and they're going to take it. And Ur excuse me, Adamatrix is out for lead jammer for Olympia. Urk and Jerkin in the back of the pack now working her way up front. She's knocked briefly out of bounds, stays in, and she's out of the pack. But here comes Adamatrix looking to score points. It looks like we have a pack advantage for Rocky Mountain now, and it's three on two. Going for some offensive hits. Wheeler's up there, but huge hit to the outside from Psycho Babble, forcing the call off 3 0 on that pass. All right, 37 to 7, Randy Pan. Olympia with a nice lead here. 18 minutes left in this first half. Remember, the winner of this game gets a free pass into the second round of championships. The loser must play a game on Friday. Wow, this is, I mean, I feel like this energy is like what I feel when I drink Rockstar. I'm just energized, I'm engaged, I'm in there. I just, it's like drinking a Rockstar out here. All right, and now both jammers had a false start, a legal procedure, and I do not believe that Tannable gave we got Lee Jammer, Randy. All right, that is a deranged out there with Lee Jammer. Danimal did not give ground because she didn't. That it was going to be built up to a major. So power jam, Rocky Bound with a 3-2 blocker advantage and not a moment too soon. But that is uh, Blonda Bitchin and her sister D-Bomb up front doing some great uh, defensive action. Absolutely. So deranged now jamming. She gets through for how many points? Four. Four of the points had one pass out of bounds, no penalty, but no point. So we still have the sisters out there. I believe one picked up a penalty, but there's a full penalty box uh, for Oli, but it's about to open up. Deranged skates, does a, does a pirouette, and that's all. Oh, five points. And slam for Deranged. So now it uh, looks like uh, D-Bomb is going to pick up, or it's going to serve that minute that she was supposed to earlier. So we have a four. Two blocker advantage, or sorry, four three blocker advantage for Rocky Mountain. And the point differential continues to evaporate for Olympia as that's another five point grand slam for Deranged. Rocky Mountain do a great job slowing the back to a crawl there, just all defense right now. Deranged right back into it, hits Blonde and Bitchin, and that's a major back block. We saw it. Deranged has got to quickly get off this track here. She Lackadaisically can't. skating to the penalty box here as back on the track is Tannable Lecter. No one sees her. She's up. She's through. That was her initial pass, Randy Pan, but with 24 seconds left and a power jam, she's got time to get some points. Oh, he really already got free to beat her locked down and pulling it to a stop. Free to goes for into defensive pass. They got the wall in there. Uh, looks like a fall. There's Tannable Lecter with a five-point pass. Uh, the pack has moved about four or five inches from the last pass. Uh, once again, Tannum Elector engaging the front wall of red. And that is the jam as two minutes clocks down. Four points more for Tannum Elector. Randy Pan, the penalty box, manifesting itself in a bad way for both teams. That was the jam, and those are Protect Dent mouth guards that they're wearing in their mouths. The first thoroughly scientific mouth guard for the Derby player. Uh, you were seeing, it's like... Uh, uh, penalty box go around. One team goes in, the other comes out. One team goes in, the other comes out. I, you know, and I, and I said this during the jam as Adamatrix lines up for Olympia. D range still in the penalty box. She was called off, and there was really about a five to ten second pause there while she looked at the referee and then very skated slowly to the penalty box while still looking at the ref. The clock doesn't start on your time until you sit your butt in the seat. 4-2 uh, pack advantage for Rocky Mountain, but 1-0 jammer advantage for Oli as Adamatrix is the only jammer on the track. She is. She's up front. Gets past Urkin Trigger. She's through. Lead jammer Adamatrix for Olympia. All right. And that's Tannum Electra and Sassy holding off. Free to beat her going in to, send, uh, to spend some time in the penalty box. Deranged, uh, deranged is standing in the penalty box, Randy Pan. Power jam is about to be over. And it uh, looks like uh, Tannum Lecter picked off Erkin Jerkin for the trap. Oh, beautiful move by Adam Matrix. She's around for another grand slam. Power jam is over as Deranged is out working on her initial pass. Huge hit for Tannum Lecter to the outside, and she's going to the back. Uh, are they going to call? Yes. Uh, I believe a destruction of play major on Sassy. They went backwards on that uh, pack, uh, destroyed the pack. She's able to go in as both of the Olympia blockers are standing in the penalty box. Deranged, fini excuse me, Adamatrix finishes the pass for three more points as Deranged was approaching the pack. Nice time to call it off. These leagues are at another level, and you can take your league to the next level with skate court, roller derby, flat tracks. So Urkin Jerkin fresh off of a pretty 
Good jam as a blocker for Rocky Mountain. Randy Pan comes in as the jammer for Rocky Mountain. Comes in to say hi to uh, Stella Taliana, who took a huge hit earlier, uh, resulting in the two high block calls from the sisters of Rocky Mountain. She is back and ready to skate, Kool-Aid. 54 for the team in blue, 25 for the team in red. We're off. Two three walls uh, set established immediately. It's going to be a defense run, but Stella Taliana underneath the inside is lead jammer. I said underneath. Erkin Jerkin, meanwhile, forced out of bounds by Hockey Honey, does again as here comes Stella in around, virtually untouched, right past Amanda Jim and for a five point and slam. You got to give credit to the incredible offensive uh, uh, setup that Oli did and just get, had a huge lane for uh, Stella Taniana to get through. So both jammers now in the pack right now. Erkin Jerkin does complete her initial pass through the pack. She'll be eligible to score points as Stella Tanya looks to fill, finish off a pass. Gets three points, calls it off. Good timing. Again, that last point may not be worth it. Go ahead, Randy Pan. Beautiful lateral movement right there. Um, you can see that. I mean, it was picture perfect. You can see so many beautiful pictures and no mercy. The new derby photo book from Jules Axel Adams Doyle. Those are such beautiful. Uh, it's such a great coffee table book. I got it. Everyone here got it. You can get it online. It's a great, valuable price, so go get it. No mercy. We have a team timeout called for Rocky Mountain. Uh, Rocky Mountain probably wanted to slow the momentum for Oldy right now. Uh, Oldy Rollers 62, Rocky 25, and it's mainly penalties that are hurting him right now. Uh, looks like we got the referees checking in while I saying, hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? I'm all right, and coming back to the jammer line yet again for Olympia is Adamatrix. That is triple shot Misto in the red, 7-4-23. I don't know how she gets the energy, energy she does to get around the track, around and around again. So triple shot coming to the jammer line for the first time tonight for Rocky Mountain. Adamatrix has been out here. This is her seventh jam, Randy Pan. Out of 14 jams, she's been the jammer seven times. Lead on all but two of those. So a very impressive game so far. She's a pretty impressive jammer. Uh, I think it's gotta be the wheels, man. It's gotta be the wheels. Would those be Adam wheels? The only kind. So we got uh, pack advantage for a couple seconds here for Rocky Mountain is Sassy standing. No, we got a full regiment. Adam Matrix up front, triple shot in the back, both dealing with some impressive defense by their opponents. That psycho babble on. Triple uh, shots around, Randy Pan on the outside. She is through for lead jammer, Rocky Mountain. Not a moment too soon. It looks like that team timeout paid off. Uh, nice front wall. It's Echo up front. Gets in front, but jukes around on the inside. There's Adam Matrix on her initial pass. Triple shot getting lead jammer for the first time in three jams for Rocky Mountain. She comes into the pack now, past D-bomb up through. Here comes Adam Matrix into the pack, and triple shot calls it off, getting two points for Rocky Mountain. Psycho Babble with a beautiful offensive block in the back there on D-bomb, open it wide up for that pass. All right, now. We've Looks got like we still have five on five on the track. We've got Hockey Honey on the jammer line for Olympia, I believe. First time tonight for her. We saw her extensively yesterday, but she's doing it for the first time this evening. Coming back to the jammer line for Rocky Mountain is Erkin Jerkin. Hockey Honey transplant from the Jet City Roller Girls of Everett. Is that Northwest Love? You know Northwest Love. Huge hit from Liquor Split to the inside. And up front with... Multiple blockers is Hockey Honey, but 20 feet, she's gone. She is lead jammer, Hockey Honey. Great job pushing it out in the nice wall of Blonde and Bitchin' and D-Bomb in the back, but she takes it on the inside, Erkin Jerkin's initial pass. That was beautiful, Hockey Honey, though, now in the pack quick. Look at this pack position by Rocky Mountain. Very smart. They got all four up front moving very quickly. That's that's uh, strategy 101. You don't have lead jammer. Get up front. Protect the points. Don't let her jam, uh, don't let her score on you and give time for Erkin Jerkin to get back into play. Now Blonde Bitch was able to get one of the blockers up. Hockey Honey passes her, then that's gonna be one point for Hockey Honey. That was a hard fought, one point. That was beautiful. That one point was blah, blah, blah in there. Um, this is some fancy playing, and if you want some fancy pants, get yourself some derby skins. They make your hiney shiny. All right, we've got Psycho Babble coming back to the jammer line. Excuse me, coming to the jammer line for the first, first time, time tonight for Rocky Mountain. 
Tannable Electric, number nine. Uh, I'll throw it down. Those are two of the best skaters in the game. They're so fun to watch. This is going to be fun to watch them skate against each other. Both jammers into the pack. Psycho Babble up front. Tannable in the back. Psycho Babble, nice juke, jive, gets a whip. She's out. Psycho Babble, lead jammer, Rocky Mountain. Tano Electra navigating her way around Derange on the outside. Derange gets the bastard, forces her out. Looks like uh, still gets through additional pass for Tano Electra. And here's Psycho Babble right now into the back, scoring points. <laughs> Take <laughs> out from the man in India. India. I don't know how the stat's going to work for that. It's going to be a 2-0 jam. Again, hard fought That was range. That was really, Randy Penn, that was a block out of bounds. But it was a man in jam in on her own teammates, so I, no foul there. See, hey, see skater and hit. That's what she was programmed to do. That was the wrong <laughs> color uniform. All right, Adam Matrix back yet again for Olympia. Erkin Jerkin again for Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain going to start on this jam with the knee. They wanted to get going because they do have a 4-3 blocker advantage. And they want to get Erkin Jerkin through before Liquor Split gets back on the track. Hey, oh, it worked. Hopping the apex is Erkin Jerkin. She's through for lead jammer before she even got all the way out of turn two. Meanwhile, Adam Matrix working to get out of the pack. Free to beat her instead of uh, uh, salt and pepper in the front there with a beautiful two wall force to the inside. And Erkin Jerkin now looking to score points. Adam Matrix still in the pack. Working on, oh, Adam Matrix up front now and out of the pack on her initial passes out of Matrix. And so Pepper with the uh, attempted lean there. Erkin Jerk is still on the back trying to navigate. It looks like Oli Roller is running for the front. She takes the outside. Erkin Jerk comes around, cuts inside, calls it off. Looks like four points. Four points. Well, it's impressive. All skaters are out there. We have five on five. Looks like they've been reading five on five magazine, the official magazine of the WFTA. Check out five on uh, five.com. Pretty easy to remember. Randy Pan, we've still got eight minutes left in this first half, and we've got 17 jams now. A very, very fast-paced game. Psycho Babble coming to this to the jammer line for Rocky Mountain for her second trip tonight. She had a very effective jam earlier. I'm not surprised to see her again. Heifer two times. I believe this is the first time jamming tonight. It for is. Holy Rollers. Yes, Heifer coming to the jammer line for the first time tonight. We saw her jam two times in yesterday's game against Rose City. She was effective when she was out there, but in limited capacity. Absolutely. It's nice to have a deep jammer rotation to pull from. So they're in the mix right now. Psycho Babble navigating the outside. She is navigating it with a lot of blue jerseys around her. The pack is up front. Meanwhile, Heifer back in the back. We're spread out. Good bridging. No pack. The pack is here. And out is Psycho Babble for lead jammer, Rocky Mountain. Sassy picking up an out of play call. I believe it was a no pack situation where she engaged the jammer. So and uh, AJ and Manager Jamadini as well. And Heifer trying to get past deranged. And here comes Psycho Babble into the pack now, scoring points. Tannibal Lecter pushes her out. That's a Initial or, pass. Right. Minor cut, sorry, minor cut. I thought the refs were about yeah. to blow her out for a major. Uh, Psycho Babble against uh, Jelly Calls off. She takes out three points because of the minor cut. She did not pick up that last point, so three points on that pass. Uh, it was a little minor minor folly there to get that uh, minor cut, but you can follow your folly and try a Fat Tire Amber Ale today. And really, Randy Pan, if you had a Fat Tire Amber Ale in front of you, why wouldn't you follow your folly and just try it? I'm following my folly right now. All right, we've got Stella Italiana coming to the jammer line for Olympia. And Erkin Jerkin on the line for Rocky Mountain. Three on three in the pack, even odds. Uh, we have Palindrome score 63 to 36. Both jammers quickly into the pack. Erkin Jerkin is up front. Stella back in the back. Forced out of bounds is Erkin. She's up, she's through. She is out of the pack. I do not believe she will be lead jammer. She is not. She had a minor track cut. That gives Stella Tania the chance to do what she just did, which is get out of the pack, get lead jammer status, sees where Erkin is, and does not call it off. Uh, maybe she should have, though. But well, said, however, it maybe. worked out well as Randy Pan. Erkin Jerkin, uh, she felt like maybe uh, the jammer will pick up a major penalty, and she does. Erkin Jerkin goes to the penalty box for a major cut. You got the three wall of Frida Beater, blah, 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 and Echo uh, in front, but... Stella Taliana hits a five-point grand slam. We got four on four in the pack right now, and the Ole Rollers walling up in a four wall, and we got 2 2 coming from Rocky Mountain. Now, Stella was knocked out of bounds, re entered in blah, front blah, of blah. one of the skaters hit the ground, therefore, only a minor track cut as she cut in front of one skater, not two. Yeah, if you go down, you are out of play, and you don't count towards those cuts. 
Uh, Rocky Mountain get up front. Nice navigation from Amanda Janiena. Uh, protecting the point, uh, not giving Stella time a final pass. At while in the meantime, uh, Erkin Jerkin had two points that she was sitting on the penalty box. And I'm sitting on my wicked skate where we're here. Say hi to B, B Train and Strychnine. You can probably and their say dog. Hi, uh, online and their dog. They've got their dog. You can go say hi to the dog. Their dog have a Facebook page I can get on? I'm sure it does. <laughs> it's a safe bet. All right, 68 to 38, 30 point bout. Um, 35 seconds left in this power pl power jam. Randy Pan as Urkin Jerkin still in the penalty box. Adam Matrix on the line and now quickly into the pack is she for Oli. But Rocky Mountain doing as we would expect. All four blockers up front moving this jam, this pack speed as quickly as they can. Two of those uh, four blockers, Psycho Babble and Deranged, uh, up there trying to protect that line. Uh, we, Heifer trying to pick someone off on the inside. She gets hit out. And the Matrix takes a, takes a high, low block, but keeps up, still going. Now we have a 4-2 blocker advantage for Rocky Mountain. No initial pass yet. Free to beat her up front, trying to edge out Adam Matrix. And the power jam is over as Erkin Jerkin is back in the track. Lead jammer is Adam Matrix. She's lead on out of bounds. She's finally out of the pack. Huge hit to the inside from uh, Tannable Lecter, forcing Erkin Jerkin to the back to range go to the penalty box for something. Erkin Jerkin, knock, Erkin Jerkin knocked down again. Here comes Adam Matrix on a scoring pass. Uh, Tannum Electra a thorn in Erkin Jerkin's side as she's uh, just dealing her almost all by herself. Pack slowing down. Adam Matrix uses this and actually calls it off. She's still got in front of Amanda Jaminina and free to beat her. Since the hips, she passed their hips. She got the points. You don't lose it when you get back into the pack. Oh, man, there's so much action. It's hard on these ladies' skates. Kool-Aid, it's hard, and they need a lot of maintenance. Good thing that since these skates are the big fight skate tags, they'll fix your gear or chat about new stuff. All right, coming to the jammer line now, 72 for Olympia in the blue, 38 for Rocky Mountain in the red. Hockey Honey comes back for Olympia. Triple shot on the line for Rocky Mountain. Looks like 3-3 in the pack. Uh, scared to death uh, in the back. They're trying to get on triple shot. Nice She's hit out of bound by Blonde and Bitchin. Hockey Honey's up front. She's out. Hockey Honey lead jammer Olympia. She nails her way through Winota Frider, but she engaged on the shoulder. That's why it was a totally clean pass, pass on her call, her part. Good no call from uh, the refs there. Here's Hockey Honey coming in now, scoring points. Gets the jammer lap point. Looks like Winona Fighter almost gave offense to Hockey Honey there. Uh, who does get around? That is her. Both jammers are out now. Looks for, that was uh, Triple Shot's first pass. Hockey Honey calls it off as Triple Shot was in front, but that was a five point run slam. Iron Dog Clothing, one of a kind uniforms for the modern roller girl and referee. 77, 38, two and a half minutes left in the first half. Obviously time for one more jam. Might get two, conceivably could get three. Remember, the game, this half will end when the game clock ticks down to zero, and then the jam that we're on ends. That will end the first half. This is, uh, man, uh, looks like Erkin Jerk is going to take her fourth uh, intentional minor, but we also have deranged it in the penalty box. It's going to give Olympia a 4-2 blocker advantage. And with Stella Taliana on the jammer line for Olympia, that's might be only she needs. Meanwhile, Frida Beater looking to make her way up as the Rocky Mountain jammer. Stella's up front. So is, so is Frida both up and out. Frida Beater was able to get lead jammer status. Rocky. What a gambit to pay off. It looks like uh, Psycho Babble's up there, trend stopper, but that was uh, uh, Amanda Jaminini who held off at Stella Taliana long enough for Frida Beater to get through. So Frida now is coming into the pack, looking to score points. Comes through untouched on the inside, calls it off. Four points for Rocky Mountain. Amanda Jaminini and Psycho Babble with the offensive credit there. They opened up a screen of the inside lane. Perfect execution to get those uh, points, especially at a blocker deficit like that. All right, with one minute left, likely going to see our last jam. 4-2 blocker advantage. Olympia over Rocky Mountain. Adam Matrix comes to the jammer line yet again for Olympia. Triple shot for Rocky Mountain. 4-2 uh, pack advantage. So Oli's uh, getting this uh, party started. They're well up in the back right away on triple shot. And Adam Matrix is up, out, through, lead jammer, Adam Matrix. What's an Amanda Jamming just skating? Looks like uh, Lil Tonga took a little hit in the back there. Triple shot Espeso is trying to navigate her way through. In the meantime, Animatrix is in now, the pack scoring points. Looks like she's, there's the jammer lap point. 
And the pack way spread out, out of Matrix. There's out of play, and she's up five points. Go ahead and slam. I saw Pepper held her there for a little bit, but got 20 feet out, so she had to give up that ground. Dribble saw Espresso still being drop back there. It looks like Wheeler was dealing with her for a bit. Now she's got Hockey Honey and Lil Tonka to deal with in the front wall. Triple shot again, just trying to complete her initial pass through the pack here. Does now get out of the pack, but here comes Adam Matrix on yet another scoring run. Uh, we got no, no pack, pack situation, so uh, Adam Matrix gives ground. She's like, heck with it, I'll call it. And uh, that is the half, Randy Pan. All right, Lee. Oh, Kool-Aid, amazing first period. Now, uh, Rocky Mountain going into halftime. They're going to have to assess penalties. They're going to have to get control over their skating style. They're going to have to get control over their uh, head game in order to slow this only roller roll. And then that's absolutely been the critical difference. I show unofficial stat-wise only two grand slams for Rocky Mountain in that first half to 10, 10 grand slams for Olympia. Lee Jammerstad has been heavily on the side of Olympia. Out there right now. We got Dolomout, Double J, Dual Cannons, Crazy Ho Devola, Dolomout, one of my favorite human beings ever. Another favorite human being, John Valjean. Another favorite, last night, I love these guys. Empower, Dizzy Dozier, India Pell, Al, Danger Muffin, Plug McCracken, <laughs> Lux Interior, Paparazzo, Wanton Rebellion, and Bruce. All right, we'll get to the rest of them later. We're about to get back to the action. Jamming, no surprise, Randy Pan is out of Matrix for Olympia and for and Rocky Mountain. Erkin Jerkin, that's 11 for each. Derange takes her intentional fourth minor, skates to the penalty box. We'll have three on three in the pack as the jammers go. Erkin Jerkin to the outside of Animatrix to the inside. There's a lane there. Erkin Jerkin gets out on the inside. Lead jammer. She is lead jammer. Animatrix still in the pack. It's uh, Song Pepper and Psycho Battle holding on there. Uh, Hockey Honey with you, a great offensive block there. Psycho Battle still last line of defense. Amanda Jammin and you misses on a hit, but that's okay. Psycho Babble catches up front, forces her out of bounds. She's going to get recycled way back as through <laughs> is Erkin. In the meantime, I, uh, sorry, Blonde and Bitch with a huge hit to the outside on Erkin Jerkin. She's still on her first scoring pass. Adam Matrix not out yet. That is correct. I thought Erkin Jerkin was about to get all the way through the pack untouched, but Blonde and Bitch had said not so much. Sassy back into the pack there. There's a full uh, block of regiment for the Oli Rollers. Adam Matrix up front does just now get out of the pack on her initial pass. Erkin Jerkin needs to be aware. She's likely already scored, I would imagine, at least three, if not four points. And Here comes Adam Matrix, and there's the call. And how many is that? Four. four. Points. She does pick up four of those. So good jam by Erkin Jerkin. Scored four points. And, you know, another good thing that you can do besides be a good jammer, Andy Pan, is stop by Dr. Hauschka's website, get some of the official Bruise Healers fantastic merchandise. Lose the bruise with Dr. Dr. Hauschka's Ouch Aid. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do, do just that. Because I'm getting Ouch Aid sitting on these uh, seats a lot. I wonder if Dashka, Dr. Hauschka has something for that. Stella Italiana, number 30, up at the Pabst Blue Ribbon jammer line for mm -hmm. the Oli Rollers. And free to beat her on the jammer line for Rocky Mountain. Five on five on the track. Penalty box empty. Stella comes up to the front. Oh, needles in between blah, 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 and Assault and Pep, but she gets lead jammer. Yes, she does. Stella, Itali Stella Italiana does. Frida is trying to make her initial pass here. Pack spread out. Frida Need taking it. hits there. Uh, that was uh, Tenable Lecter hit to the inside and then followed up by, it uh, looks like Little Tonka recycling her to the back. Stella's up now on a scoring pass, works her way through, s cut. Oh, huge hit there from Assault and Peppa on the inside, cycling her back into the pack. Stella did a great job of going to the ground before she re-entered the pack. No cut assess. She does recycle back now. Out of the pack is free to beat her. Initial pass, no points. Yeah, we got a two wall of blah, blah, blah. And Derange with a nice hit, slowing down Stella Taniana. Who picked up four points anyway? So there again, we're seeing these jammers get all four points for their teams. Recycled back, and then you spend about 30 seconds just trying to get out of the pack, even though you've already gotten all four of your points. Ah, Aki Honey, uh, we've seen her score. I think she jammed once before earlier. Uh, back on the line there, Erkin Jerkin. That's uh, number 12, I believe. Aki Honey coming back to the jammer line for her second time. She got lead both times she was out there, scored a total of six points. You know, Oli Rollers still holding on to the blocker advantage, still keeping their skaters out there. They're skating, they want to party. Echo trying to hold off the jam to start because they want to manage the jam in India back in play. 
Here come the Jammers. Erkin's got an outside line. Huge hit by D Blood and Bitch and forces her out. Erkin's got, Jerkin's got to come all the way back. Meanwhile, Hockey Honey's up front. That's where the pack is. Saw a little uh, hop, skip, and a dance there from Bonabitch in the back saying, Erkin Jerkin, come here. Erkin Jerkin, go for an outside pass. It actually gets hit by uh, well, uh, Hockey Honey. Erkin Jerkin was able to stay in bounds on one skate as she came around the apex of turn three. She's through for lead jammer. All right, so Rocky Man trying to protect the points up front. Hockey Honey still having a hard time getting past Psycho Babble. She now gets away up to Echo and Amanda Jam in India. Not having, the, not having any luck there with that two wall. Here's Erk. Credit needs to go to Winona Fighter for a perfect bridge there. Erk and Jerkin through for a five point and slam for Rocky Mountain. Hockey yeah. Honey just now gets past Echo as Echo goes for a penalty. And so did Liquor and Split. Uh, so here <laughs> comes. Inside lane wide open made by Psycho Babble. She dances around, calls out the gym right before Hockey Honey hits the back. Perfect timing in her part. And way to go for her to go ahead and risk the points. It was a good time for it. Uh, paid off. Nice gambit there. All right, so now 90 to 54. Olympia in the blue with a 90. Rocky Mountain in the red with 54. 25 minutes left in. This game, we've got D-Range coming to the jammer line for Rocky Mountain and back yet again at a matrix for Olympia. I see some beautiful people in the audience wearing beautiful shirts. Those are Splendland shirts. Check out Splendland. Beautiful, beautiful shirts for beautiful people. Three on three, blocker-wise in the pack. Adam Matrix works her way quickly up front. D-Range comes around to the outside, forced out of bounds. She's gonna have to recycle back. Uh, slip this is a fast moving pack. Nice offensive block by Frieder Beater on the route side, carrying the lane for Derange. She passed a penalty, uh, a blocker out of play. No penalty, but no lead jammer. That is correct. And through is that a matrix? Same thing. No pass, no penalty, no lead jammer. We're going two minutes advantage now. Rocky Mountain as they have the jammer in the lead. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. This is a fast pack too, so this is gonna be a fun two minutes. D bomb with a hit to the inside on Derange, putting her back. And. Adamatrix up front now, looks to complete her pass. That's gonna be four points. Four points there, the race is on, and the advantage goes to Oli for being out front again with a beautiful offensive block from Frida Beater. That's gonna put three two points. points. Just three, three points. Three points, yes, three points because of pass out of play. So both jammers now working on their second scoring pass. No jammer lap points yet. Adamatrix up front. She is through for four more points, but quickly here comes Deranged. 43 seconds left in this jam. Half for two tons, and that is uh, D-Bomb up front for a defensive front wall, but she gets through four. So we have a one-point lead on this jam so far from Adamatrix. 30 seconds left. Likely time for one more pass from each jammer. Adamatrix comes in. Deranged 15 feet and closing behind the pack. Trying to juke free to beat her in Echo, but Echo and free to beat her slow her down as uh, deranged hits uh, Hockey Honey and Heifer. Both jammers now back in the back of the pack having been recycled. Looks like Free to Beater going to the penny box. I believe that was a block out of bounds. Uh, it's, she's been very effective this jam so far. Adamatrix completes a scoring pass. Deranged yeah. looking to finish this one. Gets a little help from Echo. Both jammers get out. Three. Two point advantage on that run. That's a two minute run for Adamatrix and the Oli Rollers. That was a long, long way to go for only two minutes and a long way to go is up to the rollergirlskates.com yet. You should stop by their booth to play if you're listening to my voice here in Portland or you should just go by rollergirlskates.com. I wonder if you can get slapped by them online. We're Very possibly. Out. Erkin Jerkin up to the line for the 27th jam, I believe, that she's played so far. This is Stella Italiana, number 30 for the Oli Rollers. 3-3 three three in the pack. No pack is called. The jammers are released. Pack quickly reforms. And Erkin Jerkin dancing to the inside, but she gets stopped there. Stella and Italiana is out. She is lead jammer, Stella Italiana. Uh, in the back there is Erkin Jerkin. Nice little slalom move gets her in her initial pass, Kool-Aid. That is correct. Almost a full lap behind is Erkin Jerk and Stella, Itali Stella Italiana trying to re-engage re the pack here. A very quick moving pack, Rocky Mountain, as we would suspect they would do very wisely, getting all three blockers up front and moving the pack very quickly. What I love what they're doing is keeping Psycho Babble in the back. It, they're going to want to pick one off. They're gonna, it's going to have to be Psycho Babble. She's going to be the hardest one to get. It looks like we have a 
Fourth minor there, block out of play. Fourth minor there for Stella Italiano. We got a power jam for Erkin Jerkin. It's a wide open lane to get five points there, Kool-Aid. The lane was wide open. No one was paying attention. I think everyone was watching Stella skate off. Erkin got through. Now she's back again. Pack not moving. She comes up. Hockey Honey and Blonde and Bitchin up there. Hockey Honey forces Erkin out, has to recycle back. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful offensive play there, but there was a nice stop there. Hockey Honey was uh, running back there. Erkin Jerkin getting uh, offensive help from uh, Winona Fighter. Sorry, uh, that's a uh, Blonde and Bitchin and Hockey Honey. Last line's event, she muscles through five points. Five more point grand slam. That makes it 74 to 102 with 23 seconds left in the jam. Erkin comes around virtually untouched for the first half of the pack. And the pack is back. She's through for another grand slam. 15 points with 14 seconds left, but the pack is slow enough and Erkin Jerk is fast enough to get through. Nice force out by Wheeler in the back. And I see a minor back block, I believe, being called on Erkin, but she's up on her feet. She's picked up at least three as she passed her. Let's and see how many she got out of that. Yes, three. She picked up the penalty box points. Well, as that jam was ending, though, Erkin was able to get out of the penalty box, so the power jam is over. We're going to have deranged on the line. Uh, no, it looks like Stella is still standing in the penalty box. Uh, and deranged that... This is who you want out. Look at this. Look at this lineup the Rocky Mountains putting out. They got some good momentum here. They're closing the the close the lead down to only 22 points. Deranged jamming. You got a man at jamming in you. Blah blah blah. And uh, psycho babble up there in that pack. Now Stella is now out of the penalty box. Randy Pan. So power jam over. Both jammers eligible for lead jammer status. Nice strong walls there. Looks like uh, Salt and Pepper going up for some offensive help in the front. Stella Taniana all by herself in the back wall. Deranged up front. Deranged is out. Deranged lead jammer. Rocky Mountain. Closing lead down to 22 points though. Rocky Mountain having a good second period right now. Nice off, uh, defensive block there by Psycho Babble with the force out as Deranged sneaks through for another five point soaring pass. Stella, Tom, Stella Italiana having no luck here with this defense, Randy Pan. She does finally cut through on the inside. Oh. Out for initial pass, but now on her scoring pass, looking to complete is Deranged. Uh, nice trap there. Slowed down the pack enough for her. Deranged to get another four points out there. She has closed the gap to a 13-point bout. Kool-Aid, incredible run by the Ole Rollers in the, the first 11 minutes of this period. You know, one of these... One of these girl skaters is going to be make, making a strong, strong case for MVP of this tournament. Union Vacations is proud to provide the 2011 WFTDA Championship MVP with a one-week getaway to Mexico. Airfare, hotel, all the good times. And I think after tournaments like this, you deserve a week in, in, a week in Mexico, Randy Pan. All right, Ergen Jerkin on the line. Adam Matrix on the line. Uh, you should have. We're just... I don't know if we have to call the jammers anymore. You know who's going out there. That's Salt and Pepper and Echo in the front line uh, defense. Adam Matrix works her way up past Echo, and she is through. Lead jammer, Adam Matrix. Erkin Jerkin on the inside gets past Sassy. There's uh, Tanner Belector, last line of defense there. Uh, Salt and Pepper going in for some offensive opening. Nice hit from Tanner Belector, but Erkin Jerkin gets forced out nonetheless. Adam Matrix, meanwhile, now back in the pack on a scoring pass, works her way up past one, two, three. Solid four while Rocky Mountain engages up front. The pack is moving very slowly now. Five and five in there. Looks like scared to death going for an offensive outside block. And it works and she muscles past Echo and she has. Fiona grapples up front, but she out of Matrix able to get past her for another five point and run slam. It looks like the momentum is starting to shift towards Oli again. They needed it. Erkin Jerkin, remember, on her initial pass here, just getting beat up. And a oh, low, block low block on Erkin Jerkin. Power jam for Adam Matrix and the Ole Rollers. It's carried to death, whipping Adam Matrix. Nice offensive whip. Resulted to get her past the salt and pepper. Five more points for the Ole Rollers, taking the lead back. They, were, they weren't comfortable with that 12 points. They wanted some back. So Adam Matrix comes in, skates on one foot, does a pirouette. Now she's up front, just forced out of bounds. And that's blocking out of bounds. It looks like a minor there from us. Oh, no. Echo going to the penalty box. That's and the jam. Adam Matrix calls it off. Erkin Jerkin had a great jam 
three jams ago, able to capitalize on Stella Italiana's power jam, scoring many points, getting Rocky back, but now Erkinger can have a very difficult time with this Olympia defense, goes to the penalty box, Adam Matrix capitalizes, starts to move this lead back up, Randy. You won't have a difficult time outside the lines with Spenland, a new kind of t-shirt at the Spenland booth. Spenland booth. That's Tannibal Lecter. She's uh, skating by herself out there. Deranged Psycho Babble up front trying to protect the points or protect just the lead jammer there. Those are the only two blockers for Rocky Mountain. 3-2 pack advantage Olympia over Rocky, but those are two very good blockers to have by themselves. All right. Almost. Uh, Sassy almost went your way in there but got back. And so Tannibal's just going for it for herself. Why not try to wrap way through the shoulders? Huge scrum of skaters, all six girls on the floor right now engaging. And through is Tannibal and uh, Psycho Babble is going to pick up a uh, major low block. Good uh, call by the referees there. Tannibal is out for lead jammer. And Durange only went out there, Erkin Jerkin back into skate. Psycho Babble, we had a fall. Oh, wow. That was a cut, I believe, on Tannibal. Amazing hit. Psycho Babble comes back in, throws her sister at Tannibal, forces her just around enough skaters to take a major. Wow. Now, while this is happening, Erkin Jerkin sent back to the penalty box for a major low block. Erkin sits. Tannibal sits. Erkin is released. Erkin goes around all the way the track. And Tannibal comes out. So we're going to do 45 seconds here as Lee Jammer's status was lost with that trip to the penalty box. Uh, both engaged back in the pack. 4-3 uh, pack advantage here for Oli. Tannibal navigating up to deranged and Echo. Tannibal just forced out of bounds. Has to recycle wow. back. Wow. Nice run from Derange, pushing her to the back there. Meanwhile, Erkin is up front with Blonde and Mitch and trying to get around, and she is out. That's that was her. her first pass through the pack, Randy Pan. Echo up front in front of uh, Tannibal Lecter, slowing her as the pack slowing down, but Tannibal jukes around for four points. It was a hard-fought four points, just six seven seconds left. I don't think Erkin's going to be able to engage any of the Olympia jammers in time to score. That's a fist in the air. Yeah, she does not. So 121 to 91, a 30-point game. You've, Rocky Mountain has got to find some way, though, stay out of the penalty box and score some points here on Olympia. Olympia doing a great job keeping their skaters on the track. They're going to find a need, need to find an edge elsewhere, whether it's opening up the four wall, whether it's up in the defense. Whether it's prioritizing who you're putting out against which jammers, I don't know what it is. And that's Frida and Adam Matrix both coming off the past blue ribbon start line, and that's Adam Matrix for lead jammer Olympia. Swing and a miss from uh, Amanda Jan in India for the hit there. Frida Beater still trapped behind Hockey Honey. Blah 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 with a nice offensive block, but here comes Adam Matrix now in a scoring pass. Gets past, excuse me, does not get past Psycho Babble and a major on Adam Matrix. Uh, major forearm, sorry, that's being signaled to not to add a matrix. Yes, that is the yeah, Adam Matrix going off. The low off. block is going to add a matrix. The forearm was going to another skater. Maybe Psycho Babble? Yes, it looks like Psycho Babble. I think possibly for the same hit, both skaters being sent off, not for certain. Meanwhile, Freed is the only jammer out there, so power jam for Rocky Mountain. Let's see what they can do with it. Remember, we said they needed something. This is going to be it. We're trying to wedge an offensive break into that wall there. Pack completely stopped as Frida's knocked inside, must come around and recycle, trying to get past Sassy. The three wall uh, just uh, tightens up again. Frida racing around the outside, 20 feet. T-Bomb had visions of a jammer takeout in her eyes, was unable to do so as they were out of play. That was the initial pass, so this is the opportunity for uh, Rocky Mountain to score. Only up front racing, surprise, surprise, surprise. Rocky Mountain tries to take one of them out, unable to do so. Here's Frida now into the micro pack up front and uh, has to go out, back in. Uh, it looks like D-Bomb trying to stop on them. To Okay, a nice force out from, that was Hockey Honey. And sending Adam Matrix, meanwhile, back on the track, Randy Pan. Everyone's walling up, their reinforcements coming back, 4-3 blocker advantage now. Looks like Psycho Babble's back in the mix though, trying to get an offensive opening up front. And Frida comes around, scores five points to four. 
Goodness. These teams are working very, very hard to get one a one-point differential out of that jam. Uh, 12 minutes left there. Um, okay, that's what you need for Rocket Man right now. Put deranged on the line. And coming in for Olympia. Now, Randy Pan, I need you to be my witness. That is Liquor and Split on the jammer line for Olympia. Liquor and Split for Olympia. 523, and that is deranged. Olympia doing a slow start here. Interesting. I can see why you would want to try to kill clock when you have the lead, but when you have all four of your blockers on the track and Rocky Mountain has one sitting, I would I would push the, push it forward. Yeah. It's not a comfortable enough lead to kill the clock time right now. Particularly when the penalties is in your favor. Liquor and Split up right now tries to get past Echo. Good job by Echo, but there's the out of play call. Liquor and Split up out lead. Jammer Liquor and Split Olympia. Well, you got to credit Holy Rollers with that hit out. That made all the difference in the world. There goes the range. That's half a lap line. Nice push there by Amanda gets her out. Three fourths of a lap now behind the pack as Liquor and Split comes in on a scoring pass. Liquor and Split navigating around the outside of Cycle Babble comes through, calls off the jam. Right at the very end of range with a little contact. Derange was scared to death. No, no call. Good no call by the refs. Derange was ready <laughs> for a penalty to be called. She was like going up, what? And he was like, no, you just didn't get any points. That's it. You're, you're fine. You can skate again. <laughs> I can understand the surprise at not being sent to the penalty box. Team timeout. Holy Rollers. Randy Pan. That's uh, the first. Uh, let's thank uh, some more NSOs. Let's 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 thank Gogo. Uh, I love that guy. He's got a nice pink beard in order to support his pink crew. Allison Wonderslam, Tech Knuckle Nikki, go go again. Genuine trouble. The prosecutor read D rules. Mary Tyler scores. Sexy beast. Lunch meat. Betty Mercury. Glory S tits. I'm just reading these. Um, Res Judica. Tenacious D Cub, Bipolar Lola, and Johnny Demonic. And then, of course, we'd be remiss if we did, we did not thank the skating referees. Of course, the tournament head ref 2D Tin Whistle. We've got Professor Murder, Pepe Refue, Mr. Rock, Jonathan Lee, Hugh Refner, Philip, Colin Deschatz, Charmer, Cirrhosis, Lauren Order, Coppafil, Oedipus Ref, Code Adam, Hangin' Chad, Stegoscorus, Miles Prower, Sugar Daddy, Curtis E. Lay, Conan the Vegetarian, Albino Wookie, Pachinko, Hunter S. Tossum, Hambone, and Toss Her Ass Out. How about a hand at home? Go ahead and applaud on your couch for the referees. I can hear you from here, ladies and gentlemen. You at home, I hear you screaming for the refs. All right, we've got Tan off. Tanable Lecter coming out of the jammer line for Olympia. Triple S uh, Espresso is trying to navigate the inside. Basadi Hockey Honey doesn't pay off. Tanable Lecter starting on that line. Red all in the middle. There's Triple Shot Espresso. Lee Jammer, not a moment too soon. Go ahead. No, she's not Tanable up front. There's out of play. She is out. No penalties called appropriately, but Tanable is out of the pack, but not coming in now is Triple Shot looking for. Her. Some points. Nice offensive uh, maneuvering from Rocky Mountain. Quick call and pick up those two points. Um, uh, it was good that it was quick because uh, the 10 minutes left. Every second is going to count, Coley. All right, Erkin Jerkin coming back to the jammer line yet again. She's had a rough couple of jams in this half, Randy Pan. Huge hits by the Olympia defense. She's been looking tired, has not had a lot of great jams. We'll see if she can pull it together. Only a 31 point lead right now for Olympia. It uh, looks like Adam Matrix is going to take her fourth attention on my uh, And all of Rocky Mountain, including the jammer. Sorry, Erkin Jerkin out there. Liquor split jamming for Olympia. Erkin Jerkin up front quickly. Good hit by Hockey Honey. Forces her out of bounds. She recycles all the way back. Uh, nice maneuvering from Erkin Jerkin. Uh, back and forth. She comes up against D-Bomb and Sassy. Free to beat her with some offensive play. She has been a great offensive asset in the front collade. It pays off. Lead jammer, Erkin Jerkin, Rocky Mountain. She is out. Meanwhile, Liquor and Split still in the back of this pack, Randy Pan. Erkin Jerkin closing click quickly. Here she comes now into a scoring pass. Well, we said it. This is what Rocky Mountain needed is to keep their blockers out there. Uh, and once Echo goes in, uh, Liquor Split gets out. Ergen Jerkin picks up four points. She does pick up four points. She can keep skating for the fifth jammer lap point. Her bench is telling her to call it, and she finally does. 
Good call. Maybe we should have called it off about a half a lap prior to that, but both teams reached triple digits. 102-129. And we've got Tannable Lecter coming back to the jammer line for Olympia Deranged. Where's the star panty for Rocky Mountain? Three on three, each team with one blocker in the box. Last minute pack adjustments by Olympia, able to get it done. And we're off. Tannable takes an outside line. Deranged fighting on the inside. Deranged moves up front, knocked out of bounds. Tannable's now up front with Psycho Babble. And a man in who wedges an opening line on the inside. Deranged, not lead jammer. She took a minor cut in the meantime. Tannable Hector navigates up front and takes lead jammer. Now, Tannable will likely burn as much of this clock as she can before she calls it off. Looks at the penalty box, though, only one Rocky Mountain blocker. So there again, do you want to kill clock or do you want to kill your opponent's penalty box time? Uh, looks like an intentional destruction of pack was uh, called on Amanda Chamadinia. Or wait, no, or she's returned to play. Um, interesting. Hopefully we get a clarification on that. So she's like, oh, I'm not a penalty box. I'll just jam again. Essentially, no foul was called. So coming back, having just served her intentional fourth minor, and here, of course, we see why Adamatrix comes back out for Olympia. Irk and Jerkin coming in for Rocky Mountain, 129-102. Girls in blue over girls in red. Under seven minutes left in the game, Randy Pan. 4-2 uh, blocker advantage for Oldie Rollers, and they got a nice, strong, scare it to death. Tannum Elector wall up front on Irk and Jerkin. In the back, Psycho Babble and Amanda Jamadinia holding on to Matrix, who navigates around. Erkin Jerkin, though, gets out. Lead jammer for Rocky Mountain, but 10 feet behind her and closing is Adam Matrix. Adam Matrix puts on the guns. And Erkin Jerkin forced to call it off. She knew Adam Matrix was going to catch up to her. 3 2 pack advantage going into this. Sorry, 4 3 pack advantage going into this for Oli Rollers. Uh, Hockey Honey's going to step into the jammer position, and it looks like deranged is. Rocky Mountain. Nope. Adam Matrix is going to jam again. Why not? That's what happened before when Liquor and Split was wearing the, the yeah. jammer cup. I, so Deranged versus Adam Matrix. Randy Pan, Rocky Pan has got to start getting into this lead soon. You don't want to have to count on a 30-point jam to win the game. Yeah, that's a... Uh, oh, dear. I think I see a major back block. Major back block on Deranged power jam for Adam Matrix. Again, Deranged not skating with a great sense of urgency to the penalty box. Adam Matrix, great sense of urgency. He's up, out, lead jammer, Adam Matrix. Yeah, she's going back and forth with Sassy there a little bit. There's some kind of newing glances there. Adam Matrix already back in the play. Uh, force out from Psycho Babble, but she took a fall, so Adam Matrix was about to be able to get back in. However, Psycho Babble, Psycho Babble gets up to the front right away to get the power jam kill going. Right, no no penalty there. Good call by the referees. The Arizona Bay in full effect. Adam Matrix skating behind. You know, her time blockers. is on Oli's side, though, so you don't have to push it too hard. You, you, re you really absolutely do not. Of course, you want to get a bigger lead anytime you can get, but there's no sense in absolutely trying everything you don't want to go all out to break up this arizona bay that rocky mountain is running when you potentially could pick up a foul make things worse for yourself so try to break it up but don't don't pick up any major destruction of pack penalties or back blocks good call off on animatrix there she saw it range standing go ahead take the opportunity to start a power jam you can have a knee go out there. You can get out front, take another lead jammer, and burn some more time. Absolutely, yeah. G good call off there. Even though you are attempting to kill clock, you're right. Preserve the power jam any way you can. Timeout now by Rocky Mountain. That leaves them with one timeout. Just one timeout left for Rocky Mountain. 27 points, 4 minutes, 15 seconds. I would be belaboring the obvious if I said this was a one jam lead. It is. It's going to have to be a heck of a jam. Rocky Mountain, um, good time for a timeout. They have enough left. They have one more left. Likely we'll save that to the very end if they need it to try to get one last jam at the end. Well, th yeah, no, I think it's good, though. I think it's good to reassess, kind of like slow the roll, have a plan in place to go in and execute to A, 
Stop at a matrix who you know it's going to get out there right away. B, get deranged as quick as possible. And C, try to execute. You're going to want at least two scoring passes before you call off the jam to get another thing in there. Get another round. What do you think, Dual? Uh, jam. Jam. Jam, thank you. So really, as we suspected, really Olympia takes a knee. No pack. Pack quickly foreign, but that does release Animatrix jamming for her third jam in a row. Deranged is out of the pack. Both jammers eligible for lead jammer status. Deranged closing quickly. Rocky Mountain, all four of their blockers up front, pulling the Arizona Bay. Here comes Adamatrix. Hey, hockey, uh, blah, 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 picked off to the back, and there's a trap. There's Adamatrix around the outside, lead jammer. Derange is back in, hit out by Hockey Honey in the back. And I believe we are, yes, we got a, we've got a jammer, jammer pass as Psycho Babble now is the jammer. Quickly through, so she's out for lead, for non-lead jammer, but out of the pack. Meanwhile, Adamatrix is scoring points. Well played, nothing lost by handing it off in there because it was the initial pass. Right, there was no pass. risk. And she was able to force it to call off only a four-point scoring pass. Now, it's huge here, but it could be worse if she was able to get through and get something else again. Really smart jammer panty handoff there. I, I do like that jammer star pass there. That was, a, that was a good time to do it. She'd take a solid hit. Psycho Babble had a clear line, which she, as soon as she had that the panty cover on, she was able to get out of the pack, forced Animatrix to call it off. So... Three minutes left, 133-102. Cannibal Lecter coming to the jammer line versus Erkin Jerkin. Anything can happen, but time is definitely on Oli's side right now. Erkin Jerkin, Cannibal Lecter going in, engaging the pack. Looks like they're all Oli in the middle there. And I uh, see some penalties being called. Looks like all minors. Cannibal's up front. Erkin in the back, Tannable working, working, trying to get through, but here comes Erkin jerking around on the outside jammer. Who is it? That is going to be Tannable Lecter. Erkin Jerker cycled, knocked down. She was to cycle back, but Sassy was able to get in front of her, take her to the back. Tannable Lecter got half of that lead jammer status by herself. Tannable was about to make the cut out, and Tannable, excuse me, Erkin Jerkin going to the penalty box. She came back in in front of too many skaters. That was a cut. I saw it earlier, and uh, the call was made, but it got to her late. But it was a good call. Now, Tannable is just standing in place, and, and why not? Why not? You've got a power jam. You've got a minute left in this jam. You can essentially ice the game if you don't do anything foolish, like go to the penalty box. I really appreciate the patience coming from Oli here. As I, Tannable gets out for, oh, five points, grand slam. Manage jamming in, he moves in the back. Going to be the first line of defense. Oh, uh, easy uh, sway around the back. Just a lot of incredible, lot of, again, Tannable Lecter, I'll say, one of the best skaters in the game. And she's uh, just proven that not just with her lateral ability, but her confidence. And, well, oh, then I not, say that, and then she takes a hit down. <laughs> Man, it's jamming in you with a solid hit there on Tannable. Tannable, a little slow to get up. I jinxed her. Coming in, free to beat her heads to the penalty box. Three blockers now for Rocky Mountain. Tannable sees an inside line, doors open. Gets through, calls off the jam after five more points. Randy Pan, Rocky Mountain has one minute, seven seconds left on this clock. They have a 41-point deficit. Do you use your last timeout here, or do you try to get one last jam in, then call timeout, then have a full two minutes? Because they have a jammer in the penalty box, I don't think they have a choice. I think calling a timeout is good. You got to get enough time for your jammer to have the opportunity to get through get lead, get something and call it off. So I think that was a good call. But it's very, very unlikely that Rocky Mountain are gonna be able to pull some kind of play with uh, so few seconds on the, penalty, uh, the period clock left. So I, recall, so with 48 seconds left, we might see an adjustment there, we'll see. But a, a minute or less left on the game clock. Remember, the game will end when the game clock ticks to zero and then the jam that we are on finishes. So we'll finish the jam we're on when the game clock goes to zero. There is 30 seconds between each jam. Automatically, we're going to lose 30 seconds between each jam unless Olympia called a timeout, which I would be shocked if they did. All Therefore, Rocky Mountain now is the, the, cl the clock gets adjusted up to 54 seconds. If they, with no timeouts left, if Rocky Mountain wants two jams, they're going to have to have a very short jam here 
under 23 seconds essentially to get lead jammer status, get a scoring pass, call it off, and then try to get one last jam in without any timeouts. They will be starting with Erkin Jerkin in the penalty box as their jammer. She is standing, so less than 10 seconds left on her left on her penalty, but still at advantage Oli as Adamatrix comes out. I love what I'm seeing from Oli. Oli take the front. That is the play for Oli right now. Get the jam going, get out, run, kill time. Time is on their side. They're taking a defensive posture instead, though. Gets Erkin Jerkin out of the penalty box. Power jam over. Uh, now, I expected only to run on that, but instead they're going for a nice, slow defensive posture. Uh, we got another. Uh, and we have another jammer star pass. Hey, one good star pass deserves another. I don't think they lost any ground there, but they. Well, now they've lost a ton of ground as Adam Matrix is out and through for Lee. Jammer deranged. Now the jammer for Rocky Mountain is out with her, but with 25 seconds left, Adam Matrix is a smart, smart player. She knows what to do here. Let's derange get in front of her. That's fine. In fact, she can essentially call it off right now with no timeouts left for Rocky Mountain. Randy Pan. I think this is it. Look at the smile on her face. She knows what to do here. We got a hit to the head on uh, Wheeler's part. A lot of jostling up there. Olympia, Ro Olympia Rollers went undefeated in 2011. They will enter the championships of the WFTDA still undefeated. Excellent, excellent bounce. Smart play there by the Oli Rollers. Good final jam. Hey. Rocky Mountain came, played a hard-fought battle, played great derby out there, great execution. Uh, fundamentals, man, penalties. Uh, staying on the track comes from training, and I think that going into champs, that's what Rocky Mountain has to work on, is train the penalties, uh, get control over them, keep the skaters on the track in order to execute huge when they get there.